Two giants of Catholicism are becoming saints at the same time, Pope John Paul II and John the 23rd. They're going to be declared saints this Sunday by Pope Francis. But the Vatican twofer is not without controversy. Let us discuss. Joining me now to do just that is Father Edward Beck, CNN religion commentator, host of the Sunday Mass. Good to see you, Father Beck. Thank Rebirth you. Rebirth and renewal. I hope you had a good Easter. I did. I did. So let's talk about this. Why is it special? Two at the same time, well, that's kind of new. Um, rare for us to see saints being made of people we've actually seen alive, right? Right. So we've never had a canonization of two popes together. Mm -hmm. So that's new. The fact that so many people can remember these two popes. Now remember, John Paul, John the 23rd, ushered in Vatican II, mm -hmm. 1962. A lot of people alive remember good Pope John. And of course, John Paul II, many remember, 27-year papacy. So we're actually going to witness the canonization of popes that we revered in our lifetime. Remember, it takes centuries sometimes to make popes, not with these two. All right, so now we'll poke at it a little bit here. Um, yeah, I put in Vatican II, uh, the good Pope John. They're still working to implement it, by the way, so it's not as if it's because of the successful legacy of Vatican II. A lot of people have problems with it. But more specifically, John Paul II. Uh, there is controversy about how he handled the early development of the scandal, and now it seems he is being raced to sainthood. Is that to try to avoid that issue? Is there some type of, you know, is there something afoot here? I remember Pope Benedict is the one that fast-tracked John Paul II, mm -hmm. and he worked under John Paul II, revered him. Mm -hmm. When John Paul II died, remember the funeral, immediately, Santo subito, that was the cry of the people. That means sainthood fast, now. Fast the same. Right? Yep. So for the first thousand years, Chris, there was not a Vatican that said who should be saints. It was popular acclaim. Mm -hmm. So the people said this person's holy, they should be given sainthood. So again, they're saying that John Paul II was so holy, he deserves this sainthood. There's supposed to be a whole devil's advocate thing, though, right? When you're being canonized and someone has to be given the charge of coming up with against you. Was there any of this discussed about the scandal and how John Paul II handled it? Yeah, I think it is. But the point is, saints are not without sin. It doesn't mean that every policy statement or everything they ever did is without reproach. They're sinners like everybody else. It's in the greatest scheme of things. Did this man's life attribute to something that was holy and blessed by God? Remember, God makes saints, not the church. The church recognizes saints, but God makes saints.